Hey you guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday and I have something that so many of you, I think over the past several months have really wanted me to try out and I'm actually super excited to try this out myself. This is from a beauty brand over in the UK, it's 35 bucks. It is Really? This glitter palette right here is $35 and it is more of an indie brand, I feel. I'm really excited. I have not opened this up. I haven't looked at it. I am hoping that it looks like what it looks like online. Da -da 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 -da. This is from joliebeauty.co.uk. I'll link it below. This is not sponsored. I paid for it myself. And this is called the bomb.com palette. I do have this card here that says that you can get 15% off your next purchase with the code loyalty royalty. I don't know if I'm supposed to be sharing that or not. Um, it's like new customer, like order more, but I'll put that in the description as well. That's not an affiliate of for me or anything like that. Oh, I feel like angel music and like just glitter and magic is just gonna come flying out of it. Wow, she's beautiful. Look at this, oh my, oh my God, you guys, are you joking me? Are you seeing this? I've never owned one of these glitter palettes. I've seen them on Instagram so many times and I've wanted to. <gasps> I wanna wear it all, oh my God. There's no mirror in here, disappointing. I don't like that when palettes don't come with a mirror. Um, I don't mind when they don't come with a brush because usually those I toss, but I do think it's nice to have a mirror. So that's a little bit like, where is it? I think I wanna do a couple of swatches really quick before I zoom you guys in. We'll do some nice little shoulder swatches. So we'll start with this blue shade right here. Oh my God. That's pretty. It feels like this might be a mess. What are we thinking? Ooh, is there a hollow one? Shoot. What? Yes. I can't tell if that's just if that's hollow or not. I really need Christine here right now. Where is she when I need her? Wow. Look at that, ooh, this is so strange. I'm just gonna scoot you guys closer and we're gonna get to applying some of this on the eyes and then of course I'm gonna show you full arm swatches. Now we're gonna go in and we are going to use this color at the bottom corner. I just kind of wanted to do something a little more neutral and I think this is a really cool thing and I will end up playing with it, you know, some of these more loud colors and of course the hollow color. But for today, because I have a meeting and then I am going out to dinner, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should not like do the neon purple, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go with this really pretty copper shade. I think it will tie in with this look really nicely. I'm gonna go with my finger on this eye and then we're gonna try with a brush on the other and see the difference. Okay, pressing it in, there's nothing falling on my face and that's building up really nice. All right, some of it is now falling. I'm gonna shift gears and take this more chocolatey color on the outer edge. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the chocolate color because there's just so much bald space underneath where you can see my eyelid, but this color right here just pressed in so nicely. So um, that leads me to believe that the texture on all of these is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I wanna take a little bit of this champagne shade and we're gonna go straight in the inner corner just a little bit, kind of do a little bit of an ombre type of a vibe. And because this outer edge just did not show up that much, I'm just gonna drag more of the copper shade down here because it's just kind of bugging me. I am gonna set my face. This is messy. This is the drawback of this makeup. It is messy. I'm using my fingers, glitter is getting everywhere. And um, even though in my dreams, having it in a palette would mean that glitter wouldn't be messy, but it still is kind of messy, so. You have been warned. I am gonna spray my eye with a little bit of setting spray. This is the Christopher Buckle Power Lock and I am just testing this out. It's a new product, but I am going to kind of try and lock this in a little bit. And I find if you do this right away, like one eye at a time, it does help the glitter to not fall all over the place. Wow, yeah, that alcohol in there I can feel, shoot. I have to say I am impressed though because I don't have much on my face. Like when I even use a glitter glue and a loose glitter, I still have more on my face. So that's pretty cool. On this eye, we are gonna start out with a brush. I just wanna see if it will even do anything. I don't think it will. I think this is gonna be a fingers only palette, but it's worth a try. 
Actually, that's not bad. I'm pretty impressed. Usually with glitters, you cannot use a brush or any glittery top coats like this guy right here or the top coats in the Huda Beauty palettes. You always have to use a finger. And if you have acrylics, that can be a problem sometimes. So it's nice that I was able to do that much intensity with a brush. I don't feel it's as intense as this eye over here, but not bad. I'm gonna see what happens with the chocolate, if it does any better of a job, just because the texture on that one is kind of strange. Nope, it does not. And in the art of keeping things symmetrical, I do like to follow through with whatever mistake I covered up and still cover it up, if that makes any sense. Just so things look as much alike on both eyes. I really love that this is working with a brush because I was just able to go so tight in the inner corner. I'm really liking this. I think this is fantastic. Um, let's pray to the gods above that this does not sting my eyes, that it doesn't fall all over the place, that it doesn't irritate my eyes because sometimes I've been known to have allergies with glitters. So this is a little bit like, huh, like I hope it stays looking like this, A, and B, I hope that I can wear it. So uh, let's take a look at the swatches really quick while I have you here. So the top row, you get a gorgeous blue, you get a light blue, then you get that weird brown, don't know about that. You do get a really fun pink that looks like it has some kind of rainbow glitter or hollow glitter, and then you get a flat pink, you get a silver, the next row down, you get a burnt red orange color that's gorgeous, a really pretty turquoise blue. You get a purple that again has kind of some fun colors in it and a blue that has the same splash of fun colors. I can't really tell if those are hollow or not. Uh, jury's out. So then we have a beautiful magenta. We have the champagne that I used on the inner corners. Then we have another blue that's very similar to the one in the top left corner of the palette, kind of a more mermaid green a bright purple, more of a true red, a hot pink, and then an actual gold. That's just very middle of the road gold. It doesn't lean toward copper or champagne. Then we have more of a navy indigo blue, a really beautiful lime, this hollow silver, a light pale pink, kind of a purpley lilac pastel pink, and then the coppery shade that I have all over my lid. When you are working with glitter, lashes make the biggest difference in the world. So I just popped on a pair of lashes that have a little more flare on the outer edge. I didn't even line my upper lash line. I did throw a liner in the waterline on my lower lash line, smudged a little bit of color below the lower lash line and added just a little more glitter right here on the inner corner, that same champagne shade that I used right up here to kind of mirror the mirror both the top lid to the lower lash line. And this is the look. I'm looking in the mirror right now and I really love this. I feel like I wanna go out and have a fun night um, and not be so serious. Like this is such a fun look and it's really, really pretty. But uh, yeah, I made it as daytime appropriate as I possibly could. It looks great. It's not uncomfortable. I'm gonna keep you guys updated if it itches, if it falls everywhere. So we're gonna see how this wears and if it lasts and looks cute all day long, I will be sure to update you guys as we go through the day and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Logan! Oh my gosh, I can't with him. He's so cute. Can you look at the camera? <gasps> Hi. Hi, baby. Can you Hi, smile? baby. Look. <gasps> <laughs> Hi. Hi. And there he goes again. My nephew is crawling. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so sweet. You've got such a nice haircut. Look at your skull bandana. Oh my gosh. Look at you. Give me a paw. Yes. Hey you guys, here is the afternoon check-in. I just finished lunch. I was FaceTiming with my sister Sabrina and Logan, my nephew, is crawling and he was waving to me and I was just like laughing so much, like out of just joy that my eyes were tearing up and then I'm the idiot that was like rubbing my eyes and then like mid rubbing my eyes, I'm like, wait, oh my God, I'm doing like a glitter review, like stop it. So. Uh, my point is nothing really moved around that much like it actually still all looks really good Nothing is falling on my face. Everything's locked in pretty tight. It is migrating into my crease quite a bit 
This always happens because I have slightly hooded eyes, which is super annoying, but I'll show you. See, right here. This always happens to me though when I wear glitter. It's just kind of what it is. Sometimes I can get away with like, you know, the Stila liquid, liquid glitters that are like really hardcore. Those I can get to behave and stay on my eyes the right way, but majority of the time this just happens. And you know what? I actually don't like hate it. It's still just kind of pretty and glittery. And as long as it's not making my eyes feel itchy and crazy and it's not getting glitter fallout all over my face, then I'm good. It is nighttime and my eyelids are still extremely sparkly. I think this is my new favorite look. What do you think, hype man? <laughs> I think you looked really pretty today, but you always look pretty to me. But, no, but uh, is it like, um, is it daytime appropriate? What do yeah, I think it's anytime appropriate. It looked really cool. I like the sparkle. I like it too. Dang, you guys, I am looking in at my monitor and it is just like bling, bling, bling. Like it is so sparkly. I cannot get over how much I truly enjoy this. I wanna wear this all of the time for no reason at all. Like I wanna clean my house in this makeup. I wanna wear glitter Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like this speaks to me in such a big way. I love this, 35 bucks. You get a ton of different shades and I'm kind of looking at all of them and I'm like, okay, so we took a stroll down the neutral land, but I wanna play over here. Like I wanna do something really loud. Uh, let me know what color would you like to see on my eyes? Like what is jumping out of this palette? Let's look at it again. I think I'm gonna be staring at it for a while. I just wanna play with everything in here. Oh my God. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me testing out a really cool palette. If you see things online, even if I have to order them, from outside of the States and you find cool stuff, let me know, I'm happy to do it. This was really amazing. I am gonna use it again and again and again. So there we have it. I'm trying to like not get glitter all over myself. Let's put more on my fingers right now, just cause. Oh, so satisfying. Isn't this so cool? All right, I love glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, hit the thumbs up button. Otherwise, just have a good one and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.